Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com I uh, just want to talk about theological method. I'm reading the three volumes of Hodge Systematic Theology. Hodge Systematic Theology, Volume 1, 2 and 3. I'm, I'm just reading through the first volume. And as I'm reading through this uh, work, um, if you are a Christian and you really have wanted to read theology but you've never been motivated much, maybe you're a pastor and you want to do some rethinking, um, you can get Charles Hodge uh, PDF, I think, on Monogism. Uh, but if you type in Charles Hodge Systematic Theology, uh, you'll be able to get uh, a volume, uh, his three volumes uh, on PDF. And you can start to read them. So these videos are really just to motivate people to to encourage them to read uh, Charles Hodge Systematic Theology, Volume One, Two, and Three. So if you're a young Christian, if you're a mature Christian, if you're a pastor, if you're a church leader, or you're in leadership in any sphere of church, such as um, youth work, uh, just download Pete said, uh, uh, type in Charles Hodge Systematic Theology uh, PDF, and the volumes will come up. So I want to just talk about um, theological method. Charles Hodge, um, in the first few chapters, is talking about theological method. So he's, he talks about the rationalists who use reason and philosophy. Um, it, and that includes like deists and people like that who just believe that God's out there but doesn't actually communicate to us. He talks about uh, mystics, people who come with their feelings etc. So my point here that I want to make is your theological method will bring the theological outcome. So I've been at two theological seminaries and I've noticed that a lot of students uh, as they go to a theological seminary they begin to read theology and philosophy and they move away from the Bible and they start to use reason above the Bible. So once you start to exalt reason above the Bible you'll get yourself into a mess you start to come up with your own opinions, your own ideas, and you'll just move away uh, from the Bible. Uh, I've met a lot of people. I've been in churches where it's hyper-charismatic, and I love my brothers and sisters who are hyper-charismatic. But because their theological method is feelings, everything they understand really is from dreams and visions. And so the outcome of their theology will be very nebulous and all over the place because it's not rooted as much as it should be in the solid word of God. Uh, if you take the Mormons, the theological method is to use the Book of Mormon as a way of interpreting the Bible. Uh, the uh, Muslims use the Quran. If you talk to a Muslim about the Trinity uh, and they start reading the Bible and questioning the Bible, it, the theological method is coming from the Quran. So they're going to only understand the Bible from the Quran's perspective. My perspective is, my theological method is the Bible with the Holy Spirit. So we study the Bible, we gather all the verses that we need to do on a particular topic, that's Bible, but we allow the Holy Spirit to bear witness with our spirit to the truth. So that's my theological method. That's the method of Charles Hodge. That's the method of the great reformers. That's the, that's the method of the great uh, creeds uh, such as um, the Westminster Confession and the 1689 Confession, etc. So my point is, your theological method your starting point in theology will lead to your outcome. So um, there are lots of uh, different theologies out there like contextual theology, liberation theology. Uh, liberation theology, the starting point is politics and Marxist, uh, Marxist uh, ideology. And um, what else is there? Marxist ideology and the poor. So they will always look at verses from that part, point of view. Uh, there's feminist theology, so they'll always look at it from a woman's point of view and women's oppression. 
So, whatever your theological foundation starting point is, will be your outcome. If your outcome is, I just want to read the Bible and study what it says, and allow the Holy Spirit to teach me, you will get the truth. But if your outcome is some kind of, if your foundation is ideology, feminist ideology, uh, liberation ideology, or you come in with it with some other religion, or rationalism, you won't find the truth because you're starting f with the wrong foundation. All right. So try and every now and again, every couple of days, I'll make a video on Charles Hodge, and you can follow that. And I hope that will inspire you to keep reading the book. And I'll do that till I get to the end of the three volumes. All right. Take care and God bless.